Hi, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, a rose-inspired bath salt. Now, I chose rose um, because I love the scent, and I also love um, what rose does for the skin. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. To my glass container, I'm going to add some polysorbate. Now this is a, and this is polysorbate 80, by the way. Um, this is a very important step, especially if you're adding any colorant or any fragrance whatsoever um, or essential oils to your salts um, because it helps to incorporate um, everything so that you don't have little like areas in your tub or your water um, of like fragrance. Um, it just kind of incorporates it throughout the whole bath, um, which you obviously want. So I am going to go ahead and add 2.27 grams into this glass container. All right, once you have done that, you're going to want to go ahead and add whatever um, fragrance, essential oil, whatever you ch are choosing to use. Now, I have here rose um, essential oil. Now, I know rose essential oil is ridiculously crazy expensive. Um, so if you you know, can't afford or you don't have any rose essential oil, have no fear. You can substitute it with either rose geranium, which is really cost effective um, and has this, a lot of the same benefits as rose um, absolute essential oil, or you can substitute it for another fragrance of your choice. So to my polysorbate 80, I am going to add 2.27 grams of my um, rose oil, essential oil. And you're going to want to do this step prior to um, Prior to doing your um, prior to doing your um, actual salt um, component of the formula, um, simply because um, it helps to kind of do this first, then you can put it in your salt salts and it will distribute evenly instead of doing it in reverse and putting it in your salts um, because you won't get an even distribu distribution excuse me into your um into your um salts Now I have a plethora of this rose essential oil and I don't use it very often, but when I do, um, I make sure it's um, something that I truly enjoy. And this um, I'm actually making um, for Mother's Day, which will be coming up here shortly. So I felt like that warrants rose being used. Okay, so now that I have added my rose um, essential oil, I am going to go ahead and give it a good stir. Make sure it's all mixed well with the polysorbate. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it aside. Now you can tell from just by adding my essential oil of rose it added this beautiful color, um, which will translate into my um, salts. 
So next, you're gonna go, go ahead and take a separate um, container. Again, I'm using glass. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. Now I am choosing to use Epsom salt. Um, and you can get Epsom salt in a lot of places. Um, Epsom salt is so good for just having a relaxing bath. Um, it really helps to kind of relax the muscles, um, soothes tired feet. Um, so I really, I just like this for a salt bath. Okay, so for the salt bath, or the rather the salt, I'm going to add 222.26 grams of my Epsom salt. And I apologize in advance if you're hearing some additional noise in this video, especially in the background. Um, we are having a really bad windstorm today. So lots of wind going on. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add my Epsom salt to this. Now, if you don't have Epsom salt and you choose to use another type of salt, that's okay as well. Okay, so now that I have added in my, um, or I've gotten all my um, salt in this container, um, I'm going to make sure that there's no chunks of salt because sometimes the salt will get clumpy. Um, and so I just want to make sure to, um, you know, give it a good stir and kind of break down any of those clumps because you definitely don't want clumpy salt. Um, okay, looks pretty good actually. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take my dropper. And I am going to add in slowly my um, polysorbate 80 mixed with um, my fragrance, which is my essential oil. And the reason I'm adding it in slowly is so that I can go ahead and mix it in gradually and make sure that it is incorporating really nicely into the actual salt, which it is. Um, another reason you would add polysorbate um, into your mix or into your salt or um, polysorbate, I'm sorry, um, is because you don't want like a, a nice little marking on your tub. And I find um, that if you don't use a polysorbate 80, um, it can do that. And you don't want to be cleaning your tub and doing extra work um, after a nice relaxing bath. So very important that you don't skip that step. Also, um, that's a good time when you're doing the polysorbate and stuff that you can add um, a colorant if you choose. Um, because I know my essential oil is making a beautiful, um, or it leaves a beautiful color. I am foregoing um, adding any colorant. Plus the fact that I like to keep my products pretty natural, as natural as can be. Um, I just, that's who I am and that's what I like. So you're welcome to use a colorant. Um, of course, you'll have to adjust the formula a little, but not by much. And, you know, it's really kind of create your own here at this point. Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep adding. And as you can see, the salt on the top is colored and the salt at the bottom is not. And that is because I haven't really worked it in. 
but I will here momentarily. Okay, so I'm going to keep adding my poly sorbate along with my essential oils. Stir. Trying to bring some of that. So I might take it off the scale. So I really don't need the scale for that. Okay, now that you um you see this lovely yellow color that I have. Um, I have fully incorporated my um, Poly Sorbate 80 and my Rose Absolute Essential Oil together. Um, and I don't know about you, but I just think it turned out beautiful and it smells amazing. Now for the next step, this is just going to be completely optional. You can if you want, you don't have to. Um, but I might just for this video add a little touch of um some ro dried rose petals um i just think it kind of adds some beauty to it now i'm not going to add a whole lot um simply because um again i don't want to have a huge mess in my when i'm taking a relaxing tub bath but just enough to kind of Add a little pizzazz, I guess. A little color. Okay. So once you've added that in, again, you're going to want to um, make sure that you've incorporated it throughout um, your, your salt bath. Again, this is a completely optional. Um, if you choose not to add the rose petals that's perfectly fine i will actually show you one um that i did not incorporate um any you know dried flowers of any sort um or you can substitute it you could add chamomile whatever you um have on hand and would like to use would be absolutely fine um and again you're just going to want to add a little bit not too much um, and then just make sure that it's properly incorporated into the formula. Okay, now that um, my all my ingredients are together, um, I'm pleased with my end product, um, it's time to package it. Now, I am going to go ahead and show you um, the salt bath that I made earlier. Um, same formula, still rose inspired, but no um, rose petals. Um, and the reason I'm going to show you that is because there might be some people that didn't add rose petals. And honestly, I kind of just like it plain. So I'm going to go ahead and now I am using um, this container. I don't know if you can really see it, um, but it's a uh, nice container. I've actually had it for quite a while. Um, brand new. Um, I just simply cleaned it and sanitized it really well. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just add my salts to this. Um, and this will be a good way for me to store it. Um, and so, yeah. Once I have my um, salts in my container, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. And there you have it. You are ready um, to go ahead and take a nice relaxing bath with your um, homemade salts. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, now for using this, you're going to want to add 
anywhere from one to two tablespoons per bath. Um, and this actually will last you quite a long time, depending on how often you take baths. Um, so keep that in mind um, and keep it away from direct sunlight and moisture that will help to um, prolong the shelf life of your salts. Um, so I will see you next time. Bye for now. So thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more DIY formulas, don't forget to like and subscribe.